Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the PU FIDO Cliff Key from SecureX, the world's first unclonable FIDO key, powered by PUF technology. So this is the PU FIDO Cliff Key. Uh, pretty cool military grade security for your digital life. I'm going to uh, go into several of my accounts and attempt to use this key. We'll see how versatile it is. Um, I have had experience with pass keys in the past and not every account supports every pass key. So uh, we'll take a look and see how this works. And uh, I'll show you exactly how to get signed in or uh, add the pass key to your sign in options. All right, so this is what it looks like in the package. Um, you can just turn it over here and scan this little QR code. This will just take you to the help section of the PU FIDO. Okay, and so there's a button here for confirmation. When it's in your USB port and you're logging in or using it as two-factor, you'll hit the button for the confirmation. All right, so uh, let's try to add it to our Kraken account. We'll just go down here to where there's a personal icon. And then we'll go to security. And then they have pass keys here. Now, I, you can see I've already set up a couple. Uh, but I'm assuming you'll be able to use whatever pass key you have available. So we're going to add a pass key. Ah, okay. So <laughs> I have to confirm using my old pass key to get into this uh, these settings. So um, I have my old pass key here one of my pass keys and I'll just use that to sign in. Now it's going to allow me to add an additional pass key. So I'm just going to disconnect this old one. I'll hit add pass key. My one password kind of jumped in there, but I just dismissed it. This is what you'll see. So um, I'm not going to use my windows. Hello. Um, I'm going to use another device and I'm going to choose security key. And we'll hit next. All right, and uh, we'll hit OK, and one more, and it, so it can see the device. All right, it wants me to set a security pin, and then it wants me to touch the key. So we'll do that. I guess it wants me to do it again. Okay, so I had to touch it twice. Pass key saved. Now I can use this uh, as my security key to sign in to Kraken. So we'll hit OK. And uh, I'll go ahead and log out. And then uh, let's go to sign in. Um, of course, you use your username and password. We're using this as two factor. So we'll hit use pass key. We'll hit security key. We'll hit next. And then it wants the uh, security key to my hardware device. And then I need to touch the key. So we'll do that. And it logs me in. Pretty nice, right? If I don't have that key, I can still use my old pass key. So I'll just disconnect this. I just want to see if this works. So I'll go ahead and log out. I'll go back to sign in. I'll use my pass key, security key, and my old one still works too. Right, so you can have multiple uh, sign-ins, multiple uh, hardware security keys. Uh, the nice thing about that is that uh, no one can log into your account uh, unless they have that device, right? Or one of your devices, right? Uh, but um, if this is your only one, then, uh, you know, just keep that in a safe location, uh, hidden or in a safe or somewhere when you're not around so that no one will be able to, even if they get on your computer, they're not, they're not going to be able to log in to any of your accounts. And of course, um, uh, no one can remote log into any of your accounts because you have a local security key. So, uh, and then you could use this key if you were at someone else's house too, on someone else's computer. Maybe not the most secure thing, but it, you know, maybe your laptop or you know, a computer at a, a relative's house or something. Um, you'll be able to log in um, as long as you have this with you, right? So um, it doesn't matter where you are as long as you have this. Um, then you'll be fine. Uh, let's try it on Coinbase. So on Coinbase, to get to security, we're going to uh, hit the uh, personal icon up here. Um, we'll go to settings. And then we need to go to accounts here. 
All right, and then uh, from there we go to security and to two-step. All right, so uh, you can see I already have a pass key, uh, but I can add a new one. So I'll go ahead and put this back in the computer. All right, we'll hit add security key. We'll hit continue. We'll say it's a security key. I'll make sure everything's unplugged except my new one. We'll hit next. It wants the security key of the of the device. So I can it'll the device has uh, a pin now, so I can just punch in that pin. So Coinbase doesn't like this one. Okay. So let's try it with um, Okay, so I have a uh, secondary uh, email here. So uh, what we want to do is add a security key to this uh, Google account. So we'll go up here and we'll choose Manager Google Account. And then we'll go to Security. And then we want to add a passkey. So we'll hit Add Passkey. It wants me to log in again. As it can get a little confusing because when you try to add new security settings, it makes you verify your old security settings just to get in. All right, I'm not going to create the passkey on this device. That would mean that it would be relying on my device rather than my passkey, my computer or my laptop or my phone. All right, so we're going to hit create passkey here. All right, so we'll hit uh, create passkey. Oh, okay, <laughs> my password manager wants to get involved, so I'm just going to dismiss that. Okay, it looks like Windows Security is challenging me. I'll go ahead and do that. It's not what I was trying to do. Okay. Well, that was Windows Hello. All right, let's see if we can do another one. Okay. Let's try use another device. Okay, here we go. I don't know why. I guess Google defaults to the current device first. But we're going to uh, add a security key. All right, and we'll continue. All right, and now it sees the security key, so I'll enter the pin for my security key that I created. We'll hit OK. Oh now it wants me to touch the device. All right, we'll go over here, we'll touch the device. And the pass key is now saved on Google. All right, and then we'll click Done. Let's sign out of all accounts. We'll sign back in here. All right, and once it's the option it gives me is using my pass key to sign in, so I'll hit continue. Now I did set up Windows, so I could use my Windows pin, um, but anyone could do that, right? I wonder if there's a way to take that off, but I'll use my security key, we'll hit next. It wants the security key pin, we'll hit okay. And then I just need to touch it and I'm in nice, right? So you can use the PU Fido cliff key uh, to protect your Gmail accounts. The thing to remember when you have a Gmail account is that when you're on your go to computer, um, it's generally going to leave you logged in. So if you want to make sure that no one can access your Gmail locally on your own computer, you'll want to sign out when you're done. Um, and then use the uh, hardware key to sign in. Um, and this keeps it more secure. Of course, uh, attaching the hardware key also uh, makes it so that no one remotely can log into your Gmail account um, unless they have this device. So you're the only person that could and log in um, to your Gmail account from a different location. So if you were um, on vacation, um, using uh, a computer at a hotel or something like that, or at a relative's house, you could log into your Gmail account, use your device to securely log in. Just make sure you log off when you're done. Um, otherwise, the next person behind you will be able to see your email. All right, so I'm going to sign into my Microsoft account. So I'll go over here to security. Uh, let's go to manage how I sign in. All right, I already have uh, the Google Authenticator app on here, so I need to use that to get in. 
All right, so um, I'm going to choose add a new way to sign in or verify. And I'm going to choose face, fingerprint, pin, or security key. We'll hit that. All right, I'm going to dismiss my one password and then uh, we'll use a security key. We'll hit next. I'll uh, security key setup. We'll hit OK. It's going to detect the device. All right, it wants the pin for the security key that I set up earlier. Now it wants me to touch the security key and the pass key is now saved. And uh, we can call this one uh, PU Fido. I'll call it SecureX PU Fido. Hmm, interesting, it says this pass key can only be used on this device. That's interesting. But now I have a pass key. So let's see what happens when I sign out. And let's see what happens when I try to sign in. Uh, let's say no. Well, that would, ha that would be how you could add a pass key to your Windows account. So that's it. We set up the pass key for uh, our Kraken, our Gmail, and our uh, Windows account. Fortunately, it did not work with my Coinbase account. You might have better luck. Um, it can be kind of finicky sometimes. It might have been due to environmental factors. Uh, but um, as far as I could see, it did not function properly uh, for Coinbase. But let me know which accounts work for you. Uh, this is a great little device, uh, very secure, and allows you to add a very strong layer of security uh, to your online accounts to keep them safe and secure and keep unwanted uh, people out of your accounts. If you have any questions about anything I said, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.